For this example, we'll try 100,000 divided by 100. We know we should get 1,000 out, so we can compare this to our number line to make sure we did this correctly. And I'll start with my 100,000 in binary. And I will divide by 100. And I'm going to add some guidelines for myself. So I have this 7-bit number here, which means I'm going to need to grab at least 7 bits before I can start doing anything. So 5, 6, 7. Now I want to compare this number to this number, and they look the same at first until I get to here, in which case I've got a 0, here I've got a 1. So this number is still bigger. So I will pull down one more bit, and this is where I will start. So now I'll subtract off my 7-bit number. Making sure to keep them lined up. So 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1. So I'll need to borrow something, and this is the first place I've got to borrow something from. And we're going to be doing a lot of borrowing. So now I have 10 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. Now I have 0 minus 1. So I'll borrow something, so I've got 10 minus 1, me with 1. So I've got this 7-bit number left, but it's still obviously smaller than this number because I've got a 0 here and a 1 here. I will pull down another bit. Now I've got an 8 number, so that's obviously going to be larger than my 7-bit number. So I know I can do this subtraction. Zero minus zero is zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, and ten minus one is one. Pull down another one. Now I've got an eight bit number again, so my seven bit number will obviously go into it. So I'll put down a one. And subtract my seven bit number. And 10 minus 1 is 1. Again, I'm left with a 7-bit number. I'll pull down a 0, which will give me another 1. So I've got an 8-bit number now. Now I can do the subtraction. And this will leave me with something to work with. So I've run out of room at the bottom. I'll move over here where I will get 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. 0 minus 1 I'm, means I'll need to borrow something. Come all the way over there and then drag it back. So 10 minus 1 will give me a 1. 1 minus 0 gives me 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. And then 0 minus 1 means I'll need to borrow something, and I'll go all the way over to the last place. So I will now have a 10 there, and I'll have 10 minus 1 gives me 1, and 1 minus 1 gives me 0, and 0 minus 0 is also 0. So now I've kind of lost track of where I'm at. So I'm going to add my guidelines back in to kind of line myself up. So this lines here with this one, and then th 
this is lined up with this here. So I'll bring my next bit down, which is a 1. Now I've got one, two, seven bit number, so I can compare these two, and this number does look larger than this one. So I will be able to do that subtraction. I'll have one minus zero is one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero. So I've got a 5-bit number here, and I've got a 7-bit number here. So that means I need to pull down at least two more bits. I'll pull down 1. Now I've got a 6-bit number, so I still can't do that subtraction. Then I'll pull down the other 0. Now I've got a 7-bit number. So I've got 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So these two numbers match up, and I can do my subtraction. the subtraction, I'm left with 0, put my 1 here, and then I've got three more zeros I can pull down, but nothing else left to work with, so I'm just going to end up with zeros. Now I can compare this back to my 1000 in binary, 11, 1110, and 1000. So my results do match up with what I expect to see. I've just got lots and lots of arithmetic that I went through to get there.